niggas lying through their teeth, but I keep it 100 every time that I speak. These niggas lying through their teeth, but I keep it 100 every time that I speak. Let's go. Boy, I'm in the zone right now. Boy, I'm in the zone right now. Same niggas that switched up on me, them the same niggas blowing up my phone right now. But I ain't got time right now. Cause a nigga on the ground right now. With OGs blowing la la la. Why you probably still living at your mama's house? Look. Get your money up before you talk slick Cause I've been getting to this green on some golf shit Flow so sick I could probably call it What's up gamers? Tutty gang, welcome back to the channel Today we're gonna go over the only run defense And run defensive setups that you need To be more successful A lot of people are having trouble with the run The Madden Bowl was won Without even throwing a single pass so you can use the three four with these same setups or you can use the three three five wide found in a lot of playbooks but it's two key adjustments to be able to help with over the top to make sure you don't get beat with a bomb if they do pass it so three three five wide you can see my play calls i like nickel normal for the pass and i like three three five wide for the run the first thing you want to always do Crash your D-line down. Crash your D-line down. That is the number one important thing. So first thing, goal. I like to usually put both of my linebackers on either hard flats or purple zones. That's going to give them the run fit so they can try to do a black shed and it's going to let other people in the backside shoot the gap. So by me crashing down, you can see how aggressive my defensive linemen are. So he's on the one yard line, second and goal. He's trying to run goal line. He's trying to run stretches, all these different type of things. So single back wing, this is when they usually motion. So like I said, crash down is the first number one thing. Now you can see I got a hard flat on the right side and a purple on the left side, the left of the screen. Now he's motioning the guy over because he's expecting man coverage. So all I did was my guy that's following him, I blitzed that cornerback. That's going to make sure that he's in the run fits so somebody else can get free. So if you know that your opponent is run heavy, you can take that chance to blitz somebody, especially in goal line. Blitz that cornerback. Now he's calling the timeout. He can't understand why he can't get in. Third and goal. Been shutting the run down. Been very successful. This is my best goal line type of pass defense. I will man up everybody. I got that corner blitzing and I got spies. I want to take off to the left if the tight end comes out. No tight end comes out and everything in the middle is congested. So, like I said, I want to take off to where uh, assignment would be open. So that tight end on the left would have been open and the running back would have been open. You got a quick second to make a decision. I took off to the left in case that tight end did come free. I was able to keep everything from being open through the middle. Now, once you stop the run, you know people do not like passing the ball. So that's when you have the advantage in the game. A lot of people are good at Madden, but they have trouble stopping the run. Drop a like on the video. More tips is coming to y'all real soon. I just joined the CFM. So if y'all want my 80 overall Lions gameplay, let me know in the comment section and drop a like and I will be breaking down my schemes using an 80 overall team. Let's get it.